Hi guys, Simon here. Hope you're all well. Welcome to the channel today. So, uh, light bulb moments. With doing this channel, you 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 have days where you memories are there, memories are not, stories. And yesterday I was working in the taxi, driving. Suddenly I had a light bulb. I just thought. Um, when I started this channel, it was going to be about building a house in Thailand, businesses and all the rest of it. Then we started doing the bar ones and more of you are asking after the bar ones than the other stuff. So for now we'll go with the bar ones, which is fine. We've built the channel up. We're up to 3,000 subscribers, so thank you all. Um, so we're sort of levelling out now. Maybe the subject... Uh, I've exhausted some of the subjects. Need to spike it up again. Ah, right. Maybe these stories will do it. So, I had a light bulb moment. Um, I've been getting emails and private messages on the channel, and I've had five pretty similar four guys talking about having a small part of their anatomy and one guy a large part of their anatomy. And that sparked off the story of Stefan. But where did I get the story of Stefan, the answers for it from the girls? So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a backstory here. As you know, I was in the bar every day from about 11 till 2, 3 in the morning. Mid-afternoon, about 3, I'd sneak off upstairs, have a siesta, and uh, then shower, get changed for the evening and come down. So say 5 o'clock. At the back of the Soy 7 bar, the first room was the bar and the tables. Up the steps through the archway in the back was the pool table. And behind that, was a couple of concrete tables with concrete benches you know the type with covered in tiles all different colors and pretty patterns and that's where me and the girls used to eat every afternoon about five-ish i'd give the girls money each day for the next day and they'd bring food in for me as well so i was always trying all the different thai foods and um but i couldn't get on with the really spicy stuff but they soon learned what i could eat and what i couldn't eat and through the first few months, um, the girls started opening up to me, becoming more of a friend, and these sessions were probably my favourite part of the day. And I started then being nosy, asking questions about things that had happened and what happened with the customers, and and that's what sparked yesterday the memory. I thought, oh, all these conversations I had, lots of answers to some of the emails and stuff I'm getting. And this story about the anatomy size, I suddenly remembered a conversation with Apple and the other girls. And then Stefan popped in my head. So, Joy worked in my bar. I had two girls that were bubbly. They were the, the, the life of the party type girls. And Joy was the main one. But Joy was quite plump. Um, she was quite scruffy. She lived up top floor of the bar um, she didn't have much money didn't have much clothes but she was always bubbly and happy and all over the customers didn't get bar fine very rare but lots of drinks lady drinks um, and I acknowledged this with joy and actually gave her some of my expense money to get some better clothes so she did just start smartening up and it happened that this one day I can remember it Vividly, she had bought um, a nice dress that we'd given her money for, and she had it on, and it was lunchtime. Hanging out at the front of the bar in Soy 7, a guy walking down, she got his attention and he came into the bar. There was no other customers in the bar. In fact, there was no other girls in the bar. It was just me, Joy, and Toy, the two bar maids, the tomboys. And this guy came in, he was from Sweden, he was called Stefan. Now he was a professional athlete. He was, it wasn't like a big bodybuilder. He was lean machine, you know, um, powerhouse. He did try athlons and Ironman contest, I think it was called. Uh, he lived in Pater, he had a condo just behind Second Road. Spent six months in Pater, six months or a few months in America and Europe doing contests. Um, and he had quite a bit of money, I think, so. Yeah, pretty, pretty sure he did. Anyway, Joy brought him in, got chatting away to him, and it turns out that his bar in 
soy seven eight the little alleyway between Swedish guy had gone bust and the bar had closed up for sale um, and he went every afternoon lunchtime into that bar and he had juices and these vitamin drinks and stuff a lot of the vegans do it now and you know all these smoothies back in 2000 we didn't have all that not that I can remember in fact I don't drink them now so yeah maybe I should now they look green and m ugh. so yeah he, he explained that he liked doing all this and we didn't have any of that I was at the end of the bar just eardrop eavesdropping and he explained to Joy about these drinks and um, she knew something about it and she's like give me some money and he did fool <laughs> here's some money off she shot um, I think he was drinking a coke or something Joy came back with bags of fruit and vegetables and all sorts of stuff I don't know anyway they spent I went off to bed but they spent hours the three of them four of them making all sorts of concoctions and he was teaching Toy and the other barmaid how to make all these drinks and they just made loads and spent hours and they all hit it off anyway I came back down later and apparently he'd given a few hundred baht for the bar and he'd given each two barmaids and joy a hundred baht each tip and had a well of a time by all accounts so much so he kissed Ali coming in four times a week he hit it off with joy big time absolutely just became mates just really good friends he'd come in have a few drinks uh, tip everyone again but then he started joy would go off with him for a few hours and they'd go off wandering around wherever just as mates doing different things food walking down the beach sort of romantic stuff really now as the weeks went by he started talking to me more and more um, and we became friends nice guy and I said to him I'm sure that one day you know no girlfriend what's the score what's happening and he, he, he really opened up a bit too much I was like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> and he said I've got a very small Whitley um, why am I whispering I'm sorry <laughs> there's no one here to listen he said, yeah, very small part of my anatomy and it's caused a problem over the years and I just don't, not comfortable. He said, I even tried a lady boy to see if I was, you know, maybe gay and he said, that didn't work. Um, he said, so I've sort of given up looking for a girlfriend. I thought that's quite sad. Um, but then we started talking about Joy and Stefan said, what's the score with Joy? I said, well, she works here. She very rarely gets bar fine. I told him 3,000 baht a month salary and ladies drinks. And he turned around uh, that day, again, surprised me again, and said, well, I'm here for six months. Great company, love her. Um, nothing that probably come of it, he said, but we just get on really well. I want to, um, she's going to come back here in the evenings and work as service, he said, but keep her just as a service girl and I'll pay her bar every day for the next month. And in fact, he went on to do this for the next four months, I think. He gave me 10,000 back, bang. Like, wow, okay. So behind the scenes, I agreed with Mama San, owner, me, that we'd give Joy half this money as a, on top of her salary. And we'd have half of the bar. So that worked out well, Joy was happy. And he bought her clothes and he took her out every day, every day, well, every day he came down. And they become really good friends. Um, there's another bit of a story later on for him and her, but I'll maybe keep that one. So, anyway, this this is the story of the first time somebody's talking to me about small anatomy. Now, the emails I'm getting and the messages spark a little light bulb. I remember whether it was because of Stefan, really noisy airplane. Whether it was because of Stefan, I can't remember what triggered me asking uh, the girls at mealtime about guys' anatomy, but something, anyway, I remember two conversations. The first time Apple wasn't there, it was just the girls, and I said to them, in whatever, we were just laughing around, and I said, does it make a difference? Guys, the size of the guys, anatomy um 
I was surprised. The girls all said the same. They did not like large. I was like, why? Um, not that I would know, but anyway, why? why? And they, well, can hurt, and that guy with the large anatomy tends to be more pushy and controlling. Okay. They said, we much prefer the smaller the better. And I said, what, really small? They said, yeah, because easy to... They didn't say in English easy to handle, but it was it was better for them. It made their life easier. Um, I went, oh, okay. And then maybe it was a day or two later, Apple was there and I went, Apple, I asked this question, you answer it. And same, she said, oh no, don't, don't like big, want small. Um, and I asked a couple more things about this, but that leads on to another video I'm going to do for you. Age. That's a video. Size of the person's body. There's another video. We'll keep those ones for another video. But yeah, it surprised me. So the size of your anatomy does not make the slightest difference, providing not huge. And that's how I got around to asking the girls. And they told me the answer. So, don't know, because of Stefan. What more can I say? There's your answer, guys. <laughs> the smaller, the better. That's it today. I'm going to save some for the other videos. Uh, thanks again, all the comments, all the new subscribers. Keep the comments coming. Personal messages, emails, no problem. I have put my email somewhere on the channel but it's land of smiles thailand at gmail.com all one word and i twitterized yesterday became got a twitter account don't know what a twitter is and all that and no idea so we've got a twitter account now <laughs> forgot to shout out one channel uh, yesterday when i did a few shout outs one of the ones i watch uh i really like and i'm sure i'm gonna get the name of the channel wrong is Rain and Alina. I, I love watching. Some of their productions are great and he's got the drone. I love that drone work. And I think, it's, what's his channel? Is it Thai Foreigner? No, it's Foreigner and a Thai Lady. Or Thai Lady and a Foreigner. He's in the link below anyway. But yeah, I, that's another channel I like. Mm. So, a um, bit of a joke here. I'm not doing t-shirts. Some of you know what I mean. Right. I'll catch you on the next video and uh, those basic videos I'm going to start dripping those out I've done six or seven I think I'm going to start popping those out one by one uh, very basic so you can have a laugh see you on the next one ta-la for now bye